I'm an artist that uses the name Momo for art projects. I was born in California, but I make projects all over the world, and I keep a studio in New Orleans. I started making public art because I had no other means, and I was just into traveling. I had no studio, I just had a backpack with a sketchbook, and I found an inspiration from other artists working in public spaces. You could make your whole practice function on the road this way. You get an immediate audience. Exploring this idea that uh, the public can appreciate abstract things intuitively and that a lot of the stuff to enjoy there is universal. I think of it more as like a touring band that will practice something they think is good in one location and then go around with it. And sort of unapologetically, I arrive with my best possible idea and I hope people like it. Since then, I've tried to put work in new places, find new spots. So this project is appealing to me in that way, to put something that I've created in like a completely new context globally. We approached the bottle as like a unique platform for publishing work, and I looked at it the way I would look at any other type of opportunity. LifeWater has a really cool mission to showcase and promote culture and creativity, giving artists like a clean space in which to work, to let that idiosyncratic creativity kind of come through, I think, without too much meddling. And it seemed like something I could get behind. The bottle itself is clear, so the halftone marks that I use all over paintings capture whatever is behind them. I found that these things, when they're stacked, multiplied, like on a shelf left to right, are creating some type of a gradient this way as well as, as, well as that way. No, I'm really happy with it.